How's it going everybody? I'm Drippy from Driftwood Gaming. Welcome back to a first impressions video for an RPG Maker MV game. This is a sponsored video by Hardy Tier. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. This is called Cross of Aria, and this is very close to the release version of the game that's going to be put out. Um, between this version and the release version, maybe a few bug fixes. Not too much difference really. But yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Let's uh, jump into this project and take a look at it real quick. So let's switch over to the game this up too. Perfect. Alright, we're, we're getting it. We're figuring it out. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump into Cross of Aria and uh, options. Always dash on, command number on, dot all, camera on. Let's take a look at the special thanks and other info. This is version one. Special thanks to all of these people who have uh, made some sort of contribution. Here's some notes here. If you'd like to follow Hardy Tier on Twitter, he is at Hardy Tier on Twitter. That's seen right there. Also, um, information on Hardy Tier, you can go to facebook.com slash cross of Aria. Just check it out there. Twitter.com slash Hardy Tier. And there's a Patreon if you'd like to support this project. Uh, you can go to patreon.com slash Hardy Tier. Okay, there we go. So let's jump into uh, this game Cross of Aria. Yeah. All right. No music here. Once upon a time in the land of Revan, a plague known as the Scourge swept through the realm. The Scourge was a powerful beast, invisible and corruptive. Bearing the ability to erase history itself, the realm watched helplessly for eons until the gods themselves intervened. Normally I would say something like, oh, you don't want to use um, scrolling text. I'm going to hit an F4. That'll get us a full screen there. It's a little bit better. But that was very short. I'm okay with that. That's whatever, you know. Mysterious voice. You do not belong here. You must leave this place at once. Wait, what's going on? I don't even know where I am. I, I feel something nearby. It's calling out to me. It's all auto run, by the way. I'm not running. I'm just pressing enter. Uh, I should try to find it. Now I have control. Okay. Um, quest. We have a quest log here. Items. Okay. Nothing yet. Skills. Skills and magic. Nothing yet. It'd be cool to start with something. Rename things and you change the icon set. Appreciate that very much. This is the Athlete's uh, Element Core. And you've actually added the icons too. We got our elements. We've got Psychic, Soul, Ghost. Electric is. So those three. Ghost, Soul, and Psychic are new uh, to this game. And uh, those other ones are pretty common, right? All right, let's take a look at weird the options. Can we save it? Save anywhere is activated. All right. Is this a... I feel something here. It wants me to focus on it? I could try. Focus on the object? Yeah, why not? I can feel it. You should not be here. What is this place? This is the veil. I've never heard of this place. How did I get here? The answers you seek are here, but I do not have them. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll figure it out going. Okay. Well, I don't understand what the point of that NPC was. But... Maybe. In this place, worlds overlap. Time is still. Those who wander here are touched by magic, touched by fate. But you must not stay or you will stay forever. There's something here. Focus on the object? Yes. I can do this. So, you're one of them. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I'm one of them. I've never seen these symbols before. I can't read them. What's this? Are you strong enough to pave your own way forward? Yes! Just a little more! It's no good. I'm not strong enough. The shelves are full, but when I reach for a book, I can't grab it. I feel something here. Focus on the object? Yes. I've got this. down. Is that better? Hopefully that's a little better. Anyway, what does she say? It's about time you left, don't you think? Uh, what if I stay? What happens if, if I stay too long? We will cleanse the scourge from our realm. Wait, you can help me? Not in any way you would like. Huh. I don't know, man. Let's try to push this down. Just a little more. It's no good. We're still not strong enough. Maybe we have to tell her a different answer. You're right. Okay, I guess nothing new. I've never seen this symbol before, I can't read it. Oh shoot. I already got some puzzle. 
What about right here? There we go. I feel something here. Looks an object? Yes. It's getting easier. What do you want to know? Uh, leaving. How do I get out of here? What you see is, in part, a construction of your subconscious. You must find the exit. Great. Maybe it has something to do with this giant rock. Yeah. Scourge is a silent killer, crafty and malevolent. Yet it does not get its own fingers dirty. It erases the memories of all it touches. Erasing people's memories doesn't sound so dangerous. Imagine the terror of waking up one day and feeling threatened by your very surroundings, or appearing in an unfamiliar land as you have. War rises the, from the chaos every time. The scourge must be stopped. I do like the tile set in this game so far. What is the meaning of this intrusion? What? I, I didn't do anything. I'm just trying to leave, like I already told you. Your kind are not welcome in this place. What did I do? Not you, Ruby. There's another intruder. Oh, we can't go that way? What about up here? Nope, nothing there. What about right here? Nope. What about we have to go back down? Or maybe we have to just talk to this NPC again. For some reason that always happens. Yes. We should probably make the next page auto run. Show yourself. I will banish you from this plane once and for all. I will find you instead of an action button. Auto run that. That girl, she was the voice I've been hearing since I got here. I should see what's going on. Also check all of these because there might be hidden objects, right? We can see special powers. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Another obstacle, I can clear it. And then... Was there a point in clearing it, though? Doesn't appear like it. No problem for me. If you woke up tomorrow not knowing what happened today, but you still remembered yesterday, is that not evidence that you will always remember? Proof of yesterday is proof of tomorrow and vice versa. What happens when you don't remember yesterday? Life may end, but the soul goes on, so long as there are memories. Hmm. It sounds like children up ahead. Let's see what's going on. There's no one here. Hmm, this seems unfamiliar. Or this seems familiar. Is this my classroom? I don't remember, but it feels so familiar. Come here, you will not escape. Another obstacle? No problem. For my superiors. Powers. Okay, breathe. Uh -huh. What's happening? What's happening in my head? It feels like it's on fire. The longer you are in this realm, the harder it will be for you to leave. What are you fe What you are feeling is a result of this. But I thought it was just a dream. It's more like you're projecting. You are not asleep, nor is your real body actually here. But your time here is over. I've got you now. Ugh! I have to keep going. Here, something here. What's in this bed? Can't take a little nappy poo? A little nappy bye bye? No? Okay, let's go ahead and move on. The veil. The veil. Are you okay? I'm fine. What happened? There's no time for that, Ruby. If you don't leave now, you never will. I still don't know how. There's no exit. Close your eyes. Oh. Press enter slash return while in teleport pad or left click to use it. Cha-ching! Press the escape key to open the menu. To run, left click a tile or change always dash on uh, arrow keys. Okay. Sorry, old stuff. Neat, 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 neat. We're introduced to the menu, even though we have already had access to the menu. We'll save it. Continue on. Far as uh, interesting mapping, weird storyline. Maybe this is a little bug. It's unclear who or what let the scourge loose upon this realm. It is, it is likely that whoever created it is. is <clears throat> it is likely that whoever created it created it also inoculated themselves from it. <laughs> or maybe this is our punishment from the gods. I can words. I can words today. Me my mo 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 me mo 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 mo. Unique New York. Okay, my living room from when I was a child. Hey, I can read this one. Uh, 
there's a torn paper on the desk. From what we can tell, the scourge has affected our content, our continent, it's affected our content, guys. Affected our continent at least three times. Even the beasts carry the scars. Before the last scourge, it appears that the Anura were completely docile. In fact, there's evidence that they traded peacefully with Lavelle. Lavelle. Hmm, Aria? Okay, we're getting lots of story, and, but we need some sort of a... So, something to wrap up all of these, all this dialogue. Let's see here. What do you know, Mr. Computer? Revan. Revan is a land dominated by four kingdoms. Evidence of dragon attacks. Their current existence is unknown. Let's go with the Veil. The Veil is a mythological place where realms are said to connect. It is believed that memories stored in the Veil cannot be erased by the Scourge. However, if the Scourge crossed directly into the Veil, it could spread into other realms. So, lots of, uh... Lots of story and exposition. But, as far as gameplay, I'm looking for progression. I need progression. I don't feel like I'm getting progression. I'm getting story. I don't feel much progression at this point. So we have to figure out... Um, I guess going from one map to the next map to the ma next map is progression in itself. Looks like this device was meant to go one way only. I hope the girl is okay. Yeah, well, at least it has another dialogue. That's kind of cool, but... Once again, I'm sort of stuck here again. What's this? There's a note in this cabinet. It looks like it was left for someone. You were gifted with unimaginable powers. One day you must decide which side you are on. We're sorry we couldn't be with you. Love always, L'Oreal and Gabrielle. There's other writings here, but I can't make it out. Lorelai and Gabrielle. I think those were my name, the names of the parents. Of my parents. No, I don't remember. So maybe that had to happen. Yes, that had to happen. Okay, here we go. All right, fair enough. Sit here, use your power. Show yourself. His presence here has disturbed the natural order. What? Who else is here? Another from your world, but not from your time. Not from my time? What does that even mean? There's something here. Use your power, yes. Show yourself. When you wake up, your brother Jack will be waiting for you. My brother, why? To train you. Out of this tragedy, you will become a hero. a lot of dialogue, a lot of expo exposition. The mapping's good, um, but we need more gameplay, I feel. There's something here. Use your power, yes. It's just a big eventing uh, labyrinth. Bell crystal was found. It's flickering. What is this? The veil crystal was found. I should ask someone about this if I get the chance. Yeah, what are these veil crystals that I'm getting? Veil crystals. It appears to contain some information, but I can't read it. Maybe someone else can. Can we use it? No. Let's save it. Show yourself. The exit isn't far now. When I leave, is everything going to be okay? When you leave, we're going to purge this realm of everything that shouldn't be here. That other person that's here, they're bad, aren't they? This place has unique qualities. Not only do realms touch, but time does as well. The intruder has come back to cross... The intruder has come here to cross back into the past. We will not allow it. How far back are they going? Time to wake up. What a strange dream. Ruby's house? Ruby's home? Alright. Some, some weird mapping going on here. Why no walls on this? I mean, it works. It's fine. Could be, could be a little... That's sufficient, I suppose, for like hallways. And there's a bug out some kind of super bugs. And what about the scourge? There's some scribbles. It looks like some of the... Some kind of map. What is, this, what is he working on? Yep, 
You have pretty bare bones mapping here. Could be improved, but... Whatever. At least the living room is clean. But something does feel wrong. I don't know what it is. Why oh, do we have these stone pillars in the living room? Kind of odd. Kind of odd mapping. Not super stoked about the mapping, to be honest. Right here. But interesting tile sets. That's something I can't say. I do like uh, some of the tile sets. Vel. I'm just going to call it Vel, even though there's an L in front of it. I'm going to say it's a silent L. So this is the town of Vel. Hello. Hi there. Have you seen Jack? Hmm, I think he went out into the woods. Really, really boxy. Really, really boxy. Okay, I better check this. Looks like an advertisement. Like the house? It could be yours. Come to the castle to talk about owning your dream home today. Oh, it'd be cool if we can own this house. And then you could, like, uh, use Yanfly's, uh, what are they called? Doodads, use Yanfly's doodads and uh, use the switches so that you can say you win a competition, you get a trophy here, and then you, with Yanfly's doodads, you just set the trophy to be visible if the switch is on. Or, like, say you buy a bed and you can have a, a bed here, it could just be two events the one that looks like the top part of the bed, one looks like the bottom part of the bed, and then the switch condition and the doodads will be, or you could just be one picture. You could do that with an event without doodads as well. But you could do it with doodads to make it uh, less eventing. So, but either way. It'd be a cool idea to do custom housing is all I'm um, thinking about. You could do something with these open open areas. Maybe you already have. I don't know. Gotta go with the benefit of the doubt on it. Maybe those are places you could purchase and upgrade later. And they won't just be empty houses. Or even maybe you... Uh, recruit party members and buy the the town the houses for the party members and like if you buy them a house then you can have them in your party and swap them in and out however you want something like that It'd be kind of cool maybe they all have a special talent like in Final Fantasy 6 I shouldn't just walk in just walk in every other house why not this was ours right Wait until the city is closed for now. Something's got the monsters riled up. Be careful out there. Jack, he went into the woods. You'll need to leave town to follow him. Avell Outpost. Lots of injuries. A lot of injuries this week. So I'd say your game needs work on the mapping. I should really find Jack first. Keep adding more tile sets and more mapping. This is cool. Let's check out the world map. Some of those, some of those maps were real boxy. Um, okay. Also, this does nothing yet. That's nothing yet. North to Vale, south to Shar. I should go find Jack. Okay. Let's go this way. Then. North to Scarlet Cavern. North to Snowy Mountains. West to Den Anura. South to Vale. These are blocked off, but this is not. Uh, here's the, I guess we're supposed to go. Here's Jack. When you said you needed to take a break, I didn't realize you meant take a nap. Ready for today's training? Yes. Okay. No skills though. No magic. Nothing. No items. Start us with one skill. Just give us one skill. Alright, sis. Show me what you got. What? You want me to fight you? Hey. So we have some action sequencing, little basic movement action sequencing. You can change the icon on this guy. It's just a note tag on side this guy's actor or uh, enemy. Just one note tag. It's just icon, colon, number, uh, and real simple for that. I accidentally get right because it has me defend. You can do better than that. Good stuff. You're ready. What was the point of that? To see if you were ready. We've got a big mission today. So soon? Really? Yeah, the castle had measures set up for when the scourge struck again. I guess we got lucky. So what did you find out? Not much. Check it out. The mysterious voice added to the quest log. Alright, let's take a look at the mysterious voice then. Alright, 
Alright, the mysterious voice. It's an introduction uh, level or mission or quest. From the mysterious voice. Location in the veil. Once Jack to train me, there must be some reason for this. Objective, go to the den of Anura. So let's go to the den of Anura. Let's save it. We got our objective. Let's go to the den of Anura. Does he... Uh, nothing. Let's go. Well, so he's in our party now. Right? Does he have any skills? Jack has no skills. Why no skills? I guess there's not much fighting to worry about it then. Uh, nope. Did not we can go that way. Also, we could get some music in here. would be nice. To get some, uh, some music in this section. It might, uh, help quite a bit. The Din of Anura. We call this place the Den of Anura, or Den Anura for short. The Anura are just one of many clans of insect warriors. So what makes you think we can fight them? This is far from a sparring. They pop, repopulate quickly. Most never have the time to get strong enough or become a real threat. It's kind of awful. Do not pity them. They are ruthless and would overtake all of Revan if they could. Runs here? So what? They're just moving in with all of their furniture? This isn't right. The intel said the nest was supposed to be well established for a century at least. Maybe the information was wrong. Huh. I don't know, man. It really does look like they're just moving in. I wonder what's going on. It hardly seems like there are any monsters here. Stronger ones hang out further in the in the hive. Our job is to find a big one, kill it, and bring back a trophy. Boys in their animal heads. I wonder what's inside. Pick it up and get it out of the way. Okay. No skills, which makes combat. Oh, we do have skills. Now we get skills. <clears throat> Wait, hold up. She gets skills. Magic? No. So Ruby still has nada. But Jack has Battle Surge and Double Strike. We just need AP. So let's attack. Well, pow. Well, probably never gonna do those. Can't complain too much, but it was a little easy. Hold up. There's a very important lesson to be learned right here. Oh, what's that? We'll see you in a moment. Turn around! Distract you, because monsters will attack you. Something like that. Uh, read insect fragments and insect parts. We got stuff. With what we collected from those insects, we should be able to make something better. We don't have enough to make any armor yet, but it's a start. Okay, too heavy to move. More use of stuff, sealed shut. Stockpiled mounds of gold. I wonder why. Uh, new shovel. How much? Not bad, but it's not good either, to be honest. So far. Strange. HQ said there was corruption building up in here. Corruption. The colony has a mind of its own. It admits. It emits its own will in the form of corrupted waters and black smoke. The creature within the corruption are strengthened by it. So the thinning, so by thinning the herd, we thin the corruption? Exactly. But what do we do if there's none? Focus on the trophy. Always keep your eyes up. I never know what kind of goodies are just laying around. Hey, check it out. Ten minor HP potions. I don't like that. How? You use the same... Right there, you should put a sparkle animation. You know that sheen, the sparkle animation that just goes like that? Whatever, put a little sparkle on that one. Because these other ones are mundane. Why do you gotta check every one of them? Uh, with the off chance that one of them has something. Holy crap, there's five of them. Okay. Let's double strike. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. There's too many of them for right now. We better just run. You don't want to end up as their dinner, do you? Go. Press the escape key, left key, or left arrow, then escape to attempt to run. Okay, yeah. Well, I think we'll probably kill him. Combat isn't super bad. Well, 
Unless we're supposed to lose, which I imagine we're supposed to run. We don't have any items. But now, now, hopefully that kills him. Yeah. <laughs> run away, they say. I wish uh, Ruby had a skill that she can use her TP on. It's very frustrating that she doesn't. Very, very frustrating. HP potion should heal for 100. 50 is like pointless almost. 100 minimum, 200 would be nice. Oh, it's a quarter. Okay. It's based on percentage, 25%. That's fine. It'll, they'll get stronger as you get stronger, so that makes them less useful. So that's, that's fine. They're not very, very strong, but they're okay. You get ten of them. They're fine. Okay. Plus, we got three potions for just killing them. We really should have run from that one. But we didn't! Those portals, there are dangerous monsters inside. We'll need to clear them out to move forward. Still not a big fan of the mapping, but there are a lot of maps. That's a, that is a bonus, but it's like, this map is pretty lackluster. You know what I'm saying? I like that you're you're using some action sequencing. You're at least trying. You're doing, putting in some effort, and I appreciate that. I like the the artwork. The it's a cat, uh, the Kashix, I believe. Five minor HP, MP, minor revives. Good, good items. Very, very good items. Lots of items. We're supposed to. So we're not supposed to go this way then. Oh, probably because we weren't supposed to win that fight, we we're supposed to run away. So you weren't even really expected to go to that map, so that's why it's pretty lackluster, because you're like, yeah, probably no one's gonna see it. Somebody will! Uh, yes, sir. Check it out, looks like they're hiding out somewhere in here after all. We can get through to the other side now. Okay. Side of the den. Wait, wait, hold up. Get him. And get him. That critical. Nice. Level two. Cool. I wanted to see what's up here. Nothing. Um. So if you gave Ruby one good skill, one good skill at the beginning, I would say combat's pretty good. I've never seen this. Um, AP seems to persist, so we're gonna save that. We'll boost at the beginning of a boss fight. Couldn't hurt to take a few pieces, right? Got a hundred gold. Okay. What's this? Oh, it's a boss or something. Okay, good. Good. Uh, or it's just bigger monsters. Let's do a battle search. Probably should have used that. Oh, battle search heals too. How about that? How about that? Yeah. I like how the enemies have their own their own abilities. Even though the animations are somewhat default, it's still cool to see custom names, custom abilities, different. It's frustrating when you see attack, 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 and it's even worse when it's default font and de uh, basic uh, default animation. So the fact that it's been changed up just makes it, it's a simple, simple fix. Thank you for fixing it. I guess that was a switch we had to hit because nothing else happened. 
Front door's open. Guess we don't need to kick it down. Apples. Here for an apple. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Slice. You should have changed the animation on that. Default attack animation on Slice. We need to do that. Should have gave it anything else. I want to see a poison for Sith. That doesn't look like a slice, it looks more like a punch, right? Slice, you want like a then like a Even a basic slash. You could have done it. You could have, have one up that. Easy, easy fix. Take you 15 seconds. Database. Animation. Find the number. Well, you have to take it while to find the number. You know where the number is at. Good animation. Select a different one. Bam! And if, if uh, you don't like any of the other default ones, right click, copy, the, change max, paste it at the bottom, change the name, completely use that pattern and completely change it up, and you'll have your own custom animation. Just pick a different artwork using the same pattern. You don't have to do any work. You just say, no, don't use this art, use this art, don't use that sound effect, use this sound effect, don't use uh, this, don't tint this color, tint it to this color, and uh, I want you to raise the pitch on that sound effect, you know, and then you made your own. And you really had like no work involved. It's pretty simple. You don't have to put much work into it. You get a lot of custom resources. We got an Anura Blade. What is that? Uh, that's cool. Let's. We got lots of potions. Let's get ourselves back up. Anura Blade, a typical sword used by insect warriors. So. Warrior, basic sword, and a Nura Blade is plus one attack. So we'll go ahead and give her one. Whoa, optimal. We have a lot of uh, possible gear. Way more than you need. Sure. Let's save it okay, and continue on. Beds, tables? Jack, I don't think there are any violent monsters in here. I won't lie, this isn't how the mission brief said this place would be at all. I don't understand what's happening. What do we do? Stick to the plan, get the trophy. Though it is feeling less and less sportsmanlike. What is this supposed to be? Don't pay it any mind, it looks like they've looted things from all over. Something tells me that we are the bad guys in this story. Looks like some kind of assembly area meets a bedroom. At least we found our beast. This is the corruption I was talking about. Warning, Cross of Aria does not save automatically. Press the escape key to enter the menu, then press save. So this has got to be like the big bad boss fight, right? I'm ready. I'm ready to take him down. Let's go. Bring it! Let's do this. Change the battle music on this fight. You built it up. You need a different bat. You need a completely heavy metal. Go with heavy metal on this one. Like real heavy. I could probably make you a lick. Just put it in. Oh, it's a different job. To put an end to your reign of terror. This thing can talk? Our home, Ophelia, woke here. Jack, it doesn't remember. Even if that's true, it's still emitting a poisonous corruption. It has to go. Alright. Still, Ruby needs something. The fact that Ruby doesn't get any skills or magic is disappointing. Let's take this guy out. gonna be using uh, items then. We need to take out this guy. Bam bam. Chop chop. As long as he doesn't keep summoning, I think we're gonna be alright. Chop chop. I 
should have put the better sword on Jack. To be honest. It should be a third of your HP instead of a quarter. Yeah. Not quite enough. Not quite enough. We're just gonna die like this. Unless he starts using single like attacks, if he does the. Okay, so he does do single attack. Might have a chance. That ground smash, it does too frequently. It's too frequently. Not seek war. We'll fight. Now we're in for it. Yeah, we're probably dead now because he hits for a hundred. Uh... No, we're dead. We're, we're just gonna die. This is dead turn. We're gonna do ground slam, we're gonna hit, hit, and we're dead. Alright, F1. We're gonna have to we we're gonna have to try again. It just didn't work out. Okay, he's not balanced right. He's not balanced right. His ground slam is uh, got too frequent, or it's too strong. It's too... Mainly the biggest problem. I tell you, the biggest problem, the thing you gotta fix that that will make this work, restore a third of your HP, not a quarter, but a third, 33% or 35%. Yeah, that'll fix it. Just. All right, let's try a different strategy. Let's try bum rush. Damage, damage, damage. No healing, just damage. If he does ground smash, it's just gonna be... Okay, we gotta obviously have to take them out, because... I'll have too much DPS coming in. Anura Spore? Okay, that was fine, that's fine. Didn't do any hard damage. Fight, attack, and basically attack. See, Ruby needs a skill to use that AP. Maybe give her an ability that uh, takes uh, 50 AP, but it restores the party for like 100 HP. Something like that. Or increase the HP um, percentage on the HP potions. Or add another potion. Nah, just don't. You don't need another item. Just increase those. Try to figure out the best possible way to balance it. Well, what I do, uh, I would change those potions to restore a third, plus maybe like a set amount, like a third plus fifty. Maybe not that much, because early on it'd be too strong, too powerful. Just a thirty-five percent. I would make it a thirty-five percent HP potion. Yeah. I know I said I was gonna bum rush, but we're gonna die if I if he, if he ground slams with silver. Ground slam. Okay. Now where are we at? Let's see, you can double strike. Good, that was a good turn. Good turn. Okay, now this is the hard part, right? We have to attack and attack. Or no wait. Double strike that one. He ground slams to do that. Wow, how did we not die there? 4 HP. Okay. Um Attack and you can heal yourself. I'm actually glad he healed this turn. Now what I'll do is... Oh gosh, should I just go for it? Here's what we're gonna do. 
Oh, we fully healed. No, I should have. Does he fully heal when you go into that next phase? I think he does. Okay, heal yourself. Also, heal yourself. And these potions, it, it, they're not strong enough. That's the problem. It's a big problem in the game. Because you waste too much turn. It's not fun. That's the problem. It, it, it becomes not fun. Just healing, take damage. Healing, take damage. That's the part that's frustrating. But this boss fight is challenging. You manage to make it challenging, but maybe not in the, the way that you originally intended. It would be like a fun challenge. It's a frustrating challenge. Because potions aren't really working unless you grinded it out, which most people are not going to sit there and grind to get a couple extra levels. Honestly. Okay, where are we at? You heal yourself. You've got enough. No, you don't. So. I guess try to heal Ruby. We're going to run out of potions eventually. I'm okay with that. He doesn't actually have a lot of HP, but we have to spend so many turns controlling and, and damage reducing, and it becomes a, a pain in the butt fight. So we'll attack, double strike. He hasn't been spamming ground stomp, so I think that's why we're doing okay, but if he starts spamming ground stomp, it's over. It's all RNG at this point. If you can beat it, you might have to try a few times to get a RNG. I think I'm going to bum rush, try that tactic now. Really wish Ruby had a skill. Ooh, that ground strike is hurt. Still gonna bum rush. Attack. Uh, double strike. Starting this fight with uh, 100 AP uh, on Jack would be smart. It'd be a lot easier. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hodge. Uh, okay, let's try again. Let's go get 100 AP. Can I go back and fight? I need 100 AP on on Dumbface. What's over here? Your potions are too weak. Uh, probably the biggest problem. Because you waste too many turns just using them to take damage. Using them to take damage. I know I'm beating a dead horse, dead horse on that, so I'll, I'll move on. There's a chill this way. We can't go that way. What's our... Okay. I'm gonna look for extra secrets while I'm also uh, trying to build up TP for this fight. Set this. That'll help us. Also, what you could have done is just give Battle Surge to Ruby. Give Battle Surge to Ruby. So pointless that she has no skills. And one guy has two skills, you never use the other one. Use it all the time if you had it on Ruby. Also, I need to switch the sword from Ruby to Jack. They've got plus one. Or I could find another one if we get lucky to give one more attack on Jack. So. Didn't get it. That's okay. We do have parts, right? Now, I. Combine a green insect fragment with a green insect parts? Yes. Created green insect weapon parts. Okay, I'm onto something. Uh. Okay. So we use this and this. Either, either one of these, it combines them. And it puts it into that. Or no, you have to use the fragments and then it takes a part and gives you insect weapon parts. You can't use those. All right, so now we've got we've got green insect parts, green insect weapon parts, green insect armor parts, but none of them will let us do anything. Upgrade. None of those will upgrade to any armor. Bale crystal. Another useless item so far. I haven't seen it do anything for us. Okay. Let's use these super weak potions. Get into one more battle. No, that's fine. 87. 87 TP. Go up here. We'll save it. 
No. Save it, please. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's do this. Now, we have a little bit more. A little bit more. Uh, battle Surge. Boost, HP, and attack power. So we'll save that for, for this turn. He's gonna heal up anyway, so let's just start with some attacks on him. Wickedy Blam, Wickedy Blam. Ooh, 142! That critical was so awesome. Why, here, but in even rain of terror. Just think and talk. Our home, Ophelia, will here. Jack, he doesn't remember. Even if that's true, so it makes no sense. In dialogue. Um, bop, 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 bop. We'll take care of this guy. Super quick. Smack, smack. He's gone. And then hit. And then we'll do the same thing. Okay. No, we're not going to heal yet. We're going to push it one more round before we do the heal. We're going to attack, and we're going to save Battle Surge for the heal. So we're going to attack instead of using the double attack. So he heals up, but he's about to get screwed up. We've got that attack on I should have saved that, shouldn't I? Save that. Messed up. Whatever. We'll get it. Still win. Got to switch swords too. Hope he doesn't keep doing ground smash. I think instead of double striking, I have to save Jack's AP to heal. It's the only way. I try to do the bum rush strategy second time. But this time it's not gonna work. I have to do defensive mode. Here. Choppity chop chop! Big mistake! We got an Anura Blade and an Anura Poker. Okay. Cool. Got what we came for, let's get going. None of that seemed right, Jack. Yeah, I know. They didn't seem to be the violent monstrosities the books made them out to be. Not just that, it really does look like they just got here. I know, sis. Let's get back. Please don't make us backtrack. Just teleport us, right? Eliminate this unnecessary backtrack. Hey, do you think the head's big enough? Aha, let's hope so. You're not eliminated in the net. You're not eliminated in the backtrack. Maybe there's storyline on the way out. There's storyline on the way out that needs to happen. I understand that. Otherwise, eliminate the backtracking. We don't need to walk back through here, right? All of this is just unnecessary. At least it's quick. You just go straight down. It's not really much of a backtrack, is it? Nah. But the thing is, it's still backtracking that you don't need in the game. The player just went through these boxy maps. They don't need to see them again. If they were awesome maps, you'd want to kind of scoot them through there. You spend a lot, a lot of time on them, but they're, they're kind of boxy maps. You know, they're just like, look, they look like placeholders for now. Like, you're going to make them better later. But, um, I think we go back to the town, right? Yeah. Ah, the sweet smell of home. So where are we going exactly? Right, I don't usually take you along these missions. The wooded one, right there, that's the outpost. Let's check in and get another assignment. I've got a real special lesson for you in the next one. Whatever you say. Okay. Hmm. So we go back up. And we go this way now, right? No, not that way. Maybe we go this way to home. So, let's see. We go in here. We go up here. Jack. Oh no. Well, we found a bug. Uh, if you come back into the house here after beating the boss or getting Jack, uh, and you come up to here, 
you get this error, jack underscore happy 2 png missing. So there's a face file missing right there. Hopefully it doesn't crash the game. Did I not save it after the boss fight? Yo, did I not save it after the boss fight? Game breaking bug is gonna frustrate some people. But I guess that's what you needed. I guess that's what you needed. Let's uh do it again. And I'll save it after the fight. Seriously. Seriously now. Okay. F5 then. Alright. Continue. Alright. Oh, I did save it. Save it after the fight. Good. Or it auto save. No, it said it doesn't auto save. I must have saved it manually. Cool. Let's make our way out. Not a big deal, but like I said, unnecessary backtracking, which also, if you get a game breaking bug, you have to go back through the <laughs> backtracking there. Not a big deal, we read, we just read this, so we'll continue on. Okay, so we can't go up. Uh, there's a bug there. Let's check. I'll save it right here. I'm gonna check if we go down. Does this anything change? No, that's fine. If we go to this third one, is this anything different? No, that's also fine. So it is just in this first... Uh, scribbles are the same. So it is just in this first room that causes the bug. If I go up right here, Jack bugs out and uh, it, it, game breaking bug right here. So we can take a look at that, add the PNG file. Let's just... Uh, no, not F4. Uh, let's just restart. Uh, restart. Okay. Alright, where are we supposed to go now? Let's look at our quest log. Read about quests you've been given from the perspective of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the main story quest, right? Okay, all quests. Check back often after keep up. Okay. Alright, here's the quest. The mysterious bell. Voice. Return to Vel. That's all we have to do is return to Vel. Is it? Aren't we in Vel? Isn't this Vel? We are in the the town. So our objective is to return here. The building a library is part of the Vel's defense against scars. You should come back when it's finished. More big boxy map. See, I'm not sure what to do in this area. It just sort of falls off, falls apart at this point. This is this. Uh, this is Vel. Okay. We talked to her. Okay, so I thought it was an auto run the second time we talked to her, but it's not. It's. What are we supposed to do? When a character is talking, you'll see a text bubble. Press escape. This is tutorial stuff. Uh, make sure you save and then also a link to the to the place where you can uh, get more information. Oh, what about if we go straight across? Can we go? No. Um, what if we're supposed to go in that room up at the top that cr that uh, crashes the game? If that's a problem, you need to patch that before you release it. Otherwise, your game is unbeatable. It's, it's broken. But that may not be the case. I don't know the next thing exactly. But we have to do something in, in... Our objective is to return back to here. But we can't just walk in. It doesn't let us go in there. And none of these other places do anything. And the only place that we can go in crashes us. Um, so yeah, that's my first impressions on uh, on this project. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's hit, which button is it F4? Here we go. So this is Cross of Aria. Um, just 
thank you so much for uh, sponsoring this uh, video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I've got other RPG Maker content. I've got tutorials. I do first impression videos. If you would like me to play test your game, do a review on your game, just contact me on Discord with a small offer. And uh, if you'd like to sponsor a video, and we can get this set up for you as well. And uh, let me know if you want to do a promotional trailer, a review, or what you're actually looking for. Uh, so I know what kind of video you're looking to make. That'll help me make the content for you. Um, very flexible with uh, timing and prices. Just let me know what, you're, uh, what you need and hopefully I can help you. Um, yeah, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, love you guys for backing me on Patreon all this time. And uh, keep it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.